I begin today acknowledging the Binjarib Nungar people, the traditional custodians of this land in which we meet today. I pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and I extend that respect to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who may watch this video. I do acknowledge that I sought permission from Elder Travis Stake from the Winjan Aboriginal Corporation in order to film here today. The Pinjara massacre occurred on the 28th of October 1834 in the southwestern suburb of Pinjara, also known as the Battle of Pinjara. There have been long ongoing tensions between the settlers and the local Aboriginal people, the Binjarab Noongar, which prompted the governor, Captain James Stirling, to take action. In 1830, Thomas Peel was granted an extensive area of land that stretched between what is now called Coburn Sound and the Murray River. As settlers took tribal lands near the river for farming, and the Aboriginal people were forced to take crops and kill the settlers' cattle for food. The settlers also misunderstood traditional fire stick farming where the land is burnt in order to attract animals and this led the settlers to believe that the Binjara people were attacking their farms. In 1834, a group of Binjara Nungar men raided a flour mill as punishment. The settlers captured three Aboriginal people including their leader. To retaliate, the Binjara men planned to kill Thomas Peel. So they stole a horse that Peel planned to sell to settler Edward Barron, hoping Peel would leave the settlement to look for the horse. But Peel stayed, sent Barron and his men, Hugh Nesbitt, to look for the horse. Nesbitt was killed by the Binjarab men. Sterling then formed a group of approximately 25 people that included police officers, soldiers and some settlers and set off to find the Binjarab Noongar people to punish them for the attacks on his people and his cattle. Sterling attacked a group of approximately 70 to 80 Binjarab Noongar and surrounding them on both sides of the river. When the Binjarab tried to flee, the men grabbed the, their spears and Sterling's men opened fire with their guns with the Binjara people retreating into the river and surrounding bushes, which is down where we can see now. The amount of people who died is unknown, but is estimated to be approximately 15 to 80 men, women and children, and the settlers lost one man. Locals are now calling for a bigger memorial with names, stories, and a place where people can go to learn the truth about what happened on October 28th, 1834. The site is significant to me as its location is where I have spent my adult life and is, and this is the area I intend to work as a teacher and I expect I will come across families in my professional career that have been directly influenced by this massacre. Thank you.